Ah, welcome to the next Cigars, Liquor, and More. Yay! Today, we're going to have a La Barba Ricochet Cru Mexi Sol Coronita. With it? Yeah. Some Aberlore 12 year old double cask matured. What? More scotch? More scotch. Thanks for tuning in to Cigars, Liquor, and More. As we join our buddies Bill. Howdy. And our other brother Daryl. Smoke up, Johnny. Relaxing through 2022. Broadcasting from our studio speakeasy as they talk about cigars, liquor, and anything else that comes to mind. All right. Well, the La Barba Ricochet Cru Mexi Sol Coronita is the blue label ricochet. So they've got another ricochet. They came out with a couple other ones after the standard orange label. This is the blue label. Blue. It's a 54 by five and a half. It has a Mexican sun-grown wrapper, um, an Indonesian binder, and fillers of uh, Dominican Republic, Nicaraguan, and U.S. Pennsylvanian. Uh, don't forget that this is made in the uh, Tabacalera William Ventura factory, yeah. and uh, Tony Bellato is the blender. Nice. MSRP is $8. It should be a medium, medium bold cigar. So, with it, we have a medium to bold scotch. <laughs> this is the Aberlour Speyside Single Malt, double cast mature, matured, 12 year old, bottled at 80 proof. MSRP is $55. So, a lot of them go into 70 to 100. So, it's kind of nice. This one's still at 55. Yes. And for at 12, 12 years. For 12 years. Now, I kind of go by uh, the rule of thumb. Given to us by uh, Randy Sullivan. That if it's less than 18, you get a long time in jail. <laughs> yeah. it's, um, oh, you, no, Randy didn't come up with that. No, Sorry. he didn't. <laughs> uh, it, it, you, you, he's willing to pay as much as $10 a year. So a 10-year-old a ten whiskey probably should not cost more than $100. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to project that to scotch. I know scotch takes a little bit longer to age, mm -hmm. but I don't care. I'm cheap. <laughs> well, I, mm, yeah. <laughs> did you do you did you did a yeah you did a cold draw of course right? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I got air. So it's um, <laughs> it's it's spicy on the lips. You get the spice right away, and uh, it's a uh, very woody, very earthy. This is super earthy. But it's not a it's it's not a flavor tipped. Cigar. No, 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 it's no, just, no, no. That's what you get off no. of it. Yes. Yeah. So we should uh, get some tasting notes on these guys. I was oh, going to... Yes, yes. Let me set so this to the side. I, the, need, uh, to, I need to, you know, get some get some thinking in here. Yeah, the, the Aberlour, um, it's a Speyside. So it's a, it's not quite as salty as you might think. Um, on the nose, though, it doesn't come off hot at all. I mean, no, you could no. you could and take that, a deep breath and, and that, not cough or choke or anything. It's wonderful, and it has, it's got a very light aroma. It is. It's so a you, light fruity you, you aroma. Can, you can smell that. You know, you smell the scotch note to it, but it's very light, very comfortable. Yes, I like this very much. Well, you know, Aberlour is one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it is a little fruity at the back. At the front, it's not so fruity. At the front. It's uh, it's almost tangy, or yeah, it's not it's not fruity at the front. At the back, it starts to get a little fruit. Mm. I like it, but it's really mild. It's not so sweet, actually. Um, some scotches can be pretty sweet, not quite rum sweet, but pretty sweet. This one's not sweet. This is a very me middle of the road. It's not dry. It's not sweet. Um, the La Barba, we're good, probably half inch in now. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the cold draw was really earthy, really spicy on the lips. Once it's lit, some of that spiciness on the lips, is, it's, not as, it's not as strong. Yeah, the spiciness isn't as prevalent. The earth is there, uh, and I, I get kind of a nut flavor out of it, and maybe even an herb. And I've, I've never gotten something I would classify it. Oh, yes, I have, because grass is classified as an herb. Hmm. So I've gotten grass before, 
and I've gotten hay. and I've gotten wet leaves and hay. Uh, it's none of those. I don't know. For me, this is earth. It's really smoky. For one, I'd like to add that this this kicks out a lot of smoke. This is a very smoky stick, um, but it's got a. It, it, it's still very earthy. So the cold draw wasn't fooling me. It, <laughs> it, 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 it stayed. It got you some of what you were expecting. Yeah. And you always appreciate that. I do. I do kind of like that. But there's like a paper or a cardboard with it. It's like earthy with a little cardboard and a little must. That's what, I, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, there is a little must in that. I'm liking it so far. Then this is not the first ricochet I've had. But this is no. the first of the blue label first ricochet. Blue. Yeah, same here. Yeah. And this is definitely different than your standard orange ricochet. I mean, this is not the same stick. So I guess it is a little special, as he was calling it. Mm. Definitely a little different. Yeah, so good start. And that's what you want if you get a different color band. Retro hail, not terribly aggressive. It's a pretty mild retro hail. It's a little pepper in the back end. It's not going to choke you. It's not going to make you sneeze. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it, it's real real nice. No, you can you can do a retro hell pretty easy on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hmm. Now, with the scotch, mm -hmm. mm, the combination I feel is simply neutral. There's nothing. In fact, I've had as you can see the scotch already. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it may be detracting from the scotch. I think I like the scotch better on its own. Because I really like this scotch, and right now it's sort of meh. And, and that's disappointing. So I think the cigar is taking the scotch down a bit. So when I... It's making it milder, if that's what you like. When I take a drink before I take a puff... Uh, some of the some of the earthy flavor tones down a little bit. When I when I do it the opposite, the earthy flavor bumps up a little bit. And I I kind of like it the opposite. Okay. I I, I kind of like that extra little kick of earth, which is weird that it would it would be doing that. Yeah, but since I do already very much like this whiskey. I am a little disappointed that it kind of flattened it a little bit. Like, it, it took some of its liveliness out. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, find us online in many places, pretty much anywhere you type cigars, liquor, and more. Uh, sign up for our giveaway, our weekly giveaway. We'll get you two free drunk chicken cigars and a bunch of our swag. Bill? And who knows what else? Who is our winner? Daryl Allen. Oh, that's a good name. Good. <laughs> Congratulations, Daryl. Get in touch with us so we can send you your two drunk ticket cigars. See him swag a bunch of other stuff, just like Daryl just said. Well, since his name's Daryl, if he doesn't call or whatever email, I think I should smoke the cigars. You, you think you should get those? Yeah, it feels right. <laughs> Daryl, you better hurry up and get in touch. He's going. He's going to smoke them. He's going to say he's going to use a loophole. <sighs> okay, so. About halfway through, um, I will say uh, it, I did get a little transition. It's a little less earthy, and I'm getting a little toast now. But other than that, it's been a really delightful cigar. It is a really nice cigar. Um, I think you're. I, I think you're right. I should try the Scotch on with, its own. with a different yeah. cigar or on its own, just on its own, uh, to get a to get a better feel for it. Because mm, it's it's a much different Scotch. It's, it's, in the absence of the cigar. It's not a primo pairing. No, definitely not. But uh, still, I mean, not horrible. Not horrible. No, but there are things missing in the scotch that I miss. And so <laughs> I, I, I know that and miss it. So it's not going to get better no matter how much I smoke. <laughs> don't know what to say about that. Mm, no big. Sometimes they don't pair up that well. At least it's not making it worse. Amen to that. It's just different. Amen to that. All right. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Well, I do have to do a... A little, little correction? Do a little correction. That's a, I, that's a minor correction. It's, it's minor. I could probably let it go. Yeah, and I'm just going to see fine, that. I got a little thing like that, but it's just going to go away. 
So the flamethrower here, mm. which that looks like a teardrop. Yeah, I, I'll adjust it later. But it it had stopped. It's working. a little high, yeah. Uh, it it had stopped working, and I got it going again. You can solder with that. I'll tell you that. Yeah, no shit. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, you sure can. <laughs> Ah, well, we're in the final third. You have some tasting notes? I feel like it's Ooh. gotten milder. I feel like it continued to get milder as we went. Well, it did, I, I never, I didn't mention it before, but as I, as it went along, I started getting a little bit more of a coating in my mouth. Yeah. Uh, which I attribute as being, you know, typically attribute as being, you know, heading towards bold. Well, yeah. Uh, this didn't really head towards bold. I still put it in a medium category, but uh, that that coating uh, has been dissipating really fast uh, with, with the liquor. Yeah. Uh, with the scotch. So, works out pretty good. Uh, as, far as, as far as the tasting notes, I, I kind of stopped thinking about it. <laughs> uh, it just became. It's it just became. Cigar, right? Yeah, it just became a comfortable cigar, and I just, I just honestly, I just kind of stopped thinking about it, which isn't good for the show, <laughs> but it's good for the cigar. It, it, yeah, I mean that's a that's a, a real valid thing to say. Hey, this cigar has been so easy to but smoke. I haven't had to think about it. But oh, it, but it, it does want to stay lit. Well, I haven't had that problem. I'm not I'm not sure. If I do, I need to start reminding you when to take a drag. No, please don't, <laughs> Vinny. Oh uh, well, I know I know we're not at the end of the cigar, but we are at the end of the show. Yep. So why don't you, uh, since you have been thinking about it, why don't you give us a why don't you give us a recap? All right. Well, I mean. The cigar is really nice. Uh, this is a good, smooth cigar. It's really easy. And uh, didn't, didn't like you said, we didn't have to think about it too much. Um, I didn't like it with this scotch. I think the scotch should probably be drunk on its own. Uh, it's a great scotch by itself. Maybe doesn't pair well with cigars. Can't wait to try the scotch on its own. You need to pick up this La Barba Blue. Hmm. I feel better. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>